Howdy, April Breakout. It's Miss Kosh. I am continuing Mr. Passwater's notes um, from 3 6. And yeah, there's so this is a continuation of that. So now we're going to talk about a phase shift. So that's a, a horizontal translation left or right, um, and that we call this a phase shift. Um, and so when we write it as x plus c, that means it's going to move to the left c units or negative c. Okay, um, this will work for sine, cosine, it actually works for all the trig functions. Um, but for whatever reason, AP likes to do everything with sine and cosine and then introduce the other four trig functions. I don't know. I'd have done it differently, and I did do it differently, um, but when I taught it. So anyway, we're good. So let's look at this one. This is saying um, which of the following could be an expression. So they all have an amplitude of 3. They all have a period of 2 pi. So notice our B value is 1 and all of these. We didn't have anything being multiplied in front. They all have a midline of negative 1. Okay, so those things aren't going to be what we need to consider. Um, so what is? This one is saying we start, this would start us at positive, cosine starts at the very top. We're stretching it, so we'd start at positive 3, then we shift it down to positive, to positive 2. And it's not here, so that's no good. Okay, this one is saying we start at, um, we're at the negative, but then we have to shift it to the right pi. So if I were at pi, I would be at the very bottom, and we're not. Does that make sense? If, if I had written this, this graph would be the function negative 3 cosine of x minus 1, because it starts here at the very bottom, and then it gets up to the very top, and then gets back down to the very bottom by 2 pi. Um, so, but this, when we shift it over half a period, it's not going to match up to what this equation actually was. So this was... Um, what is he calling this one? He's calling it g. Okay, so g of x was, is equal to that. Is that one of our choices? It's not, but this is not either. Okay, so then let's see. This is saying we shift our graph left pi over 2. So what was here at 0, 0 now goes left. Um, and then that would mean that we would be here, we would be down 1, and we would go up first. Um, but we're not. So that's no good. This one is saying we shift to the right pi over 3. I lied. <laughs> 3 pi over 2. So we shift to the right 3 pi over 2. That's here. And then be, and then we went down 1. Okay, so this is this is giving us that point. And the negative tells me we go down first, which we do. So the best answer to that problem is D. What I have historically done with my kids is I'll give you a graph, and I'll say write this as a sine function, write this as a cosine function. Um, but Or I'll say which of the following equations is not equivalent to the graph or does not model the graph or something like that. I like to do those too. Um, and we're going to figure out what AP does as we, as we go through this. Okay, so here's another one. Which of the following could be an expression? Okay, so notice the amplitude's the same, the period's the same, the, the midline will all be the same on all these equations. So really, we're just looking at the type of function and what kind of shift do we have. So cosine, when cosine's positive, we start at the very top. We have shifted it to the right pi over 4. So the very top should show up at pi over 4. It does not. Okay, so that doesn't look good to me. Um, once again, this one, we now shift it to the right pi. So the very top should start at pi, and it does not. Okay, um, the very top should start at, okay, this is sine, so the midline is going to start at pi over 4. So at pi over 4, and then we go up, and then we come back down, that looks good. Okay, so let's, um, I'm, I'm optimistic about that one. Let's check the last one. This is saying we shift it over to the right pi, and, well, we're at the very bottom, but sine requires us to be at the midline. So that's no good. Our answer was C. Um, oh, okay. So this is an, this is an FRQ3 type problem. So we have seen, um, I have a video on that, and I have, um, we've all been trying to write as many practice problems related to this as we can. I wrote one on the London Eye. I wrote one on the Indiana Jones and that big old boulder that, anyway. Um, so... Um, oh, here. Okay, so here's what this is what that looks like. So F they're saying is the point two, sixteen, and G they're saying is five eleven. That's my brother's birthday. And um, J is eight six, and K, my initials um, are eleven eleven. That has nothing to do with my birthday. I always put six seventeen in all my problems which is my birthday. Okay, so here are the points. So what we notice is we've got a period. It's it, if the top to the bottom, or the, let me try that again. We started at the very top. We get back to the very top 12 units later. So our period, our period is equal to 12, and so we have 2 pi over b needs to equal 12, 
which tells me 2 pi equals 12b divided by 12. I, and reduce the fraction, I get pi over 6 is equal to b. Um, okay, my amplitude is going to be how much did I go above my midline? Well, I went 5 units above and 5 units below. So my amplitude appears to be, well, the absolute value of a is definitely going to be 5. So we have this so far, we have this so far. And we need to see what kind of a shift up do we have. Um, well, shifting up, my D value is where this midline is. We talked about that. This D value equals 11. And now let's see. They want us to write it as a sine curve. So what I might do is I might just start here and have it go in a positive direction. And so I can say H of T is equal to, it's a positive A sine B was pi over 6 um, T. And I want to shift it to the right 11, so I have to do minus 11 plus 11. And that would be one version. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm coughing. I haven't coughed all day. Okay. Or, or I could start at this point right here. If I do, though, I now have to make it negative so that I go down first. Um, and then I still have this pi over 6. And now I have shifted how much? I've shifted to the right 5. And so that would be, those are two good equations um, just using the points that they gave us. So, all right, good luck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go practice, practice, practice. Um, and I will talk to you later.